We thank you for joining Good News Live Update as we present Ayama Michael coming out with some group of people uh, to uh, tell Nigerians what is currently playing out in the grand space and as well this very broadcast we have uh, the spokesperson of uh, Hope Project coming out to address Nigerians concerning the issue that is currently trending and you pay attention, consider subscribing if you are new to our channel as we are ready to update you on the happening in the grants community thank you good news live update i've been on the monthly many times on this matter of this to your company and god has been telling us what is good and good thing is coming even without the knowledge of baba Oluato Yagidi. but i don't want to talk much I just want everyone to give a little time. And what we need is a prayer. Baba is a kind and is a very honest person. And he always makes everything to clear to everyone. I call this Baba many times. I pray many times. What is the situation of things? Even some days ago when I called Baba, you have left us in your state here in Ibadan, Nigeria, since January. What is going on? When did you see your family last? Baba said, I don't want to come back without bringing good news. But I don't know. I was surprised when people have begun write a lot of things nearly down that Baba Agidi. When we men of God are praying and we saw a light in this matter, that good thing is coming. The Baba Uluwato Yagiri office always open at any time. Everybody that want to come there is supposed to be come there. To come and ask what, whatever they want to know. I am not supporting Baba. I don't say Baba is 100%. But I'm talking spiritually about what God has been telling me about this program. That is very genuine and is very okay. I've been to that office many times. Even the office in the Barua Challenge is very, very open. I always been on the Monte pray for the company. Ask God, is it a fake or genuine? And the Lord is saying is genuine up to today. What I just want to tell people as a man of God is that we should pray and put hands together to let this, I mean, sources come up. So that is what I want to say. Fighting or abusing anyone is not a next thing. A next thing is to give time. Little time, as God is saying, as a directive from God, that we just join and together and pray. Everyone that is talking have done a lot. They have lost a lot of money. No office to trace, no anything. But when I'm into this company, maybe since 2021, or so three, I mean, sorry, three years ago, I visited the office all the time. Anytime I call about a pick call, I'm in you today, and my office tomorrow. If anyone wants to see me, you should come up. I just want to appeal it to everyone that they should let us join hands together and pray. I can see no, many people, they don't even after this Baba. Baba Gide Allah will travel all the far, suffering all the time on the road. We need to, I mean, have a sympathy for his own life, the risk that is taken. Not abusing or to nail anyone now. Everyone is station of this country and, it's, and it just goes on. What I just want to say is you talk to people like I, as I believe, as I'm praying, as I'm praying, we should pray together and to let new things to come. So I want to appeal it to everyone, don't let us fight us, fight ourselves. Let's join and together for prayer. I believe in what God say, and I know things, good things will come out from this matter very, very soon in the mighty name of Jesus. God bless everyone. Uh, that was a, a good beginning to kick up the show. I want to apologize for starting the show all over again. I don't know what's happening. All the ones I recorded, I think somebody is messing up with this platform. I need to really uh, delete a lot of people. I don't know. It's like uh, they just uh, deleted the ones I recorded. So I apologize for starting up the show all over again. So I want to recognize uh, uh, AA, the legendary AA Musa. Uh, sir, I hope you can hear me, sir. 
Legendary AA. Thank you. I can hear you. Oh, sorry, sir. You have to come back again. <laughs> this is very funny. This is the first time I'm experiencing this. It's like uh, what happened to Prince of War is happening right now. People don't like the chat show because it's disturbing them. Anyways, uh, Legendary AA, uh, please uh, summarize what you just said uh, based on the happenings in the Grants community, sir. Uh, Mr. Ayame, it will take the grace of God for me to recoup what I said. To take the grace of God. What was your question in the first place? Uh, did you ask? Yeah, I, I talked about uh, this uh, allegations against Ustaz Dawood, that he's the one stopping the disbursement. You know, they uh, accuse us, you know, way back that we tried to stop the disbursement. And, uh, you know, the uh, petition, the court case, uh, uh, Apostle Ken took you guys to. It is like that. You were just summarizing everything. So that is the point. Ustaz Dawood is not our problem. Ostas Dawood is an asset among all the pressure group for us now. Ostas Dawood is the only right, sta right man standing who has exposed the truth and nothing but the truth. It is because he exposed the truth that they don't like him. The other time they came to say he, Ostas Dawood is bringing religion into it. And uh, he need to apologize to to Ken Wakama and to Christendom. Believe in me, if there is anybody that need to apologize, it's Ken Wakama, as I said, that need to apologize to Ostas Dawood and apologize to Nigerians. Mm -hmm. Respect is not by force, it's earned. You don't force respect. People don't force respect. And respect is reciprocal. So if Ken Wakama has behaved as a child of God, a child of God, not a, not a man of God, all the insult it is only it's not only Ostas Dawood that insulted him many people insulted him many people are insulting him why is he picking Ostas Dawood's case as a special case Ostas Dawood has said exactly and one other Muslim came up to say we we the Christians or the pastors in the ecosystem are not behaving like Christians he talked about they, the Muslims, believe in Christ more than we, the Christians. And I believe it because Christ in the Quran is, as, is, is said to be the Messiah. He's a sinless human being. He came from God. The only some few things that when you look at the Christian, and, and it's not an issue of Christian uh, as Muslim religion. Ostas Dawood was telling uh, Ken Wakama nothing but the truth. And all I explained before, all those people that are attacking us as the wood are those people that are in the same camp. And I mentioned it that all the pastors that have not seen the wrongs and the lies, the lies of us, uh, of, of, of Ken Wakama, it means they too, they are children of darkness. Because if not children of darkness, the lies, the lies that Ken Wakama has multiplied, and any man of God that will say he has not identified the lies, the lies that he has been telling people is more than what any other, even the devil testified that he has been lying. So I wonder why men, some people will come that they are men of God. And I told you about what they are doing is to buy time so that people will get tired. About <laughs> So, what I am saying is, let, yeah. let us tell Tell, ourselves the truth. Okay. let us tell ourselves the truth. Ken, uh, Ken Wakama and UAAG are having no money to give anybody. And for your information, those who don't know, the so-called government supporters that are supporting him have told him to hands up. That is what the uh, the publicity secretary told us a few days ago, and I have been. They have told me too that they asked him to hands up. All this was that he is refusing to give data, and that is why this disbursement cannot take place. I equally want people to know this disbursement they are talking about is not UAH's disbursement, though. Is the little palliative that the pressure group were able to source, 
and they don't call it a bgn uh, grant it's not it's not uag's grant it's not uh, a bgs grant it's a sort of palliative and that is why it is not big enough and it's only going to serve one one bundles in each of the ngos so all those ngos that will tell you they have uh, 12,000 uh, uh, 12, uh, bundles and when you multiply 12,000 times 1,000, you know, 12, 12 million data. How can one person say he got 12 million data? Okay, he's going to be given only one bundle. Bundle. How will he share one bundle among 12 million uh, beneficiaries? Only God knows how he's going to do it. Anybody that is fighting uh, Ostas Dawood, he's not fighting him for a good cause. He's just selfishness pure selfishness the game now is the game of ebos versus others the other day i mentioned that ken wakama say he's a nationalist he is this he is not detribalized he doesn't know the meaning of nationalist he ken wakama a country director ebo uh chairman think tank ebo uh, 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 uaag ebo ict ebo tochuku ebo a, a spoke person ocg ibo everybody ibo uh name them this uh this the uh, uh food soldiers uh ufanaya ibo uh stanley ibo osim ibo everybody so and he's saying he's he's not a tribalistic human being i can see why it is very difficult for the ibos to get leadership i told you earlier that i have worked in ibo land i stay in abangwa i know oken wakamas village i i stay in Ab my best friends in nigeria today if i have three they are all ibos but this one is not a wise man it's not wise he has now come up with another thing that, calling that uh, elders of uaag somebody who came out with a voice note telling people to pay 10, 10 000, telling uh, uh, ngos to pay 10 ten thousand the apps have crashed uh the the drama about pay stack where it was he said they should pay 50 50 000, it was pressure that brought it to 35. the one he told people to bring hundred thousand for screening and uh, it was loan but later he on his own and his few on few others that it is eight it is not true he didn't tell them eight and he knew it from the beginning that he has no money yet he organized to collect this money he is using the public money beneficiaries money to fight them and now he has come out to say he didn't collect the money from any beneficiary he didn't collect money from uh, ngo so he is putting the ngos and the bundle heads at risk and the people are still sitting down there none of them can come out and cry when they are calling for press conference the press conference will favor them and they refuse to contribute because they want to play good boy good girl good uh, ngos it is well whether they like it or not this uh, press conference must all every lie must be exposed people should stop thinking they are targeting ken wakama it's not ken wakama or uag everybody that has come people will be brought to book so what i am trying to say is ken wakama has nothing to offer and we said it before people accuse us people sent threats to me they attacked me both physically and spiritually i thank god for even ostas dawood who was against me he abused me on the 4th of november he abused me i just look at it but the joy i have with him he has come to realize and he has apologized to everybody so he is as good as any other person but those people that are doing the playing this game and pastors who are claiming they are not seeing the rotten things that is happening i don't really know where we are going and somebody will come that they are elders of uaag you are, you don't have respect you want small boys to abuse you and insult you like this elder from yoruba land traditional people traditional people don't talk like that well by body language you are showing support you are backing ken wakama show me your friend and i will tell you who you are if ken wakama you can be backing him backing him in all that he is doing it means you have the best of the same feather so what we are saying is and ken wakama has reached the end the end of the route that is why he will take uas to court what has what has his court going to court got to do with he has collected money he has entered into a contract he has collected money that is going to give them grants 
whatever Ken is going to do, his tricks will die here. He should go and look for that grant and pay people. Or else they will pay with him. He has lied to them. He has money. He even said after screening, the first batch of the screening will get a lot before the last batch. He should go and give people their money. It's not the returning what he, what he collected from them. He should go and give them their billions. And Ken Wakama has confessed. He ha it is even written in first headquarters that he has never told anybody that he has money to give. And some idiot out there are defending him that he has mandate. And the people who were defending him have come to say he has his name, he has no mandate. And the government he is claiming, they say he has no mandate. He should hands up. He should submit his data and hands up. Because of what he knows he has done with the hands up, it will expose him the more. That's why he's refusing. And I'm advising the, the, the ABGA, if he say he will not submit, they should leave him in 24 hours or 48 hours. If they want data that will take cover all that they want to give, they will get it. If Ken doesn't want to give, they should leave him alone. Do you need to force him? After all, he's the one to benefit. And some of the data he has are duplicated. The, most of the data Ken Wakama has are duplicated. If not, you should bring it and let them verify it. Why is he hiding it? And why is he? The, he is just looking for Ostas Dawood. Only Ostas Dawood. He only is only looking for Ostas Dawood to rob to the mud because Ostas Dawood has come out to tell the public the truth and nothing but the truth. So they are trying to make sure they bring him down. And no matter what they do, they cannot bring that young man down because he has said the truth and the truth will set him free. So any other thing they are doing, trying to do or manipulate against that young man, that man is a Muslim. He's not a Christian. If it was a Christian, I would tell him, no weapon form against him shall prosper. No matter how they do it. He's a Muslim, but he has the mark of touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm. Whatever they do, anywhere they go, there is nothing they can do with that young man. He has said the truth. Even though he made mistakes before, but he came out and apologized and said the truth. It is only Ostas Dawood that has told the whole public the truth. And that is the truth that they are holding on. And since he said Ost uh, Ken Wakama's name is not in the document, they are the ones that put it. None of the loyalists of Ken Wakama have debunked what Ostas Dawood has said. Simply meaning, Ostas Dawood is correct. And he keeps telling people that he is a partner of U.S. We are not saying no. He is, if he is a partner, he should bring the documents of the partnership. And if we are aware that they have, they have doctored some document with Atto, we want that doc. If he is right, if he knows that he is right and he is a man of God, he should bring out that document. And once we get that document, he and the Atto and whoever are behind, that is an express way for them to go to prison. We are waiting for them. We know what they have done. We know what they did. And we are waiting for them. Let them bring it out. But as far as the Executive Council of UAS and the Senate, they don't know Ken Wakama till tomorrow. He went to court. And it, in, in his claim in the court, that is, I don't know whether... Oh, gosh. Anyways, uh, uh, legendary AA. Oh, it's like, okay. okay. He's back. Hey, hey. Oh. Okay. It's like you got a call. You got a phone call, right? <clears throat> All right. Uh, let's move on with the show. we we'll get uh, Legendary AA back on the hot seat. I got my man, uh, Legendary African Mr. Joe. African Mr. Joe, can you hear us? Yeah, I can hear you. Good evening, everybody. My name is African Mr. Joe. Thank you. Are you my mic call? All right, African Mr. Joe, what do you have to say about the the VN of uh, Jennifer Isaac today? And uh, the VN of uh, uh, the pastor uh, Shalom, Shalom Josiah, <laughs> supporting uh, uh, Pastor Ken Wakama? Well, um, it's quite unfortunate that things keep happening the way they do in grand community. And like you already know, I've not been active for the past one to two months. I just come online once in a while to, to see what's up and I go back to my chair. Well, I, I didn't listen to the voice note, but from people's comments and reaction, um, I could decipher. Uh, 
Hello? Africa, Mr. Joe? <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, it's like he has a, a phone call. Uh, Pastor Steve, can you hear me? Okay, yeah. Africa, Mr. Joe. Is yeah, I'm with yeah. you. Can you hear me? Hello. So go on. <laughs> it's like, it seems like they're hacking this platform. <laughs> okay, so I remember uh, when we started the struggle before I am and Mike, um, before um, Shola Josiah, aka Mr. Shalom from Kogi State, became um, popular in the country and all that. We used to be very good friends, and to some point, we decided to create a platform, the reformed platform. That was when there were so many Boha and the Grand community. And there were different parties, and we are looking at ways of reforming and reviving um, stops and um, fighters and all that. And including Barrister Stella of Abuja, who was also, I brought in to that platform. And unfortunately, we couldn't keep up with the platform. What am I trying to say? I've done my um, um, show like Josiah for a couple of time, for some time now, a couple months, couple years. And um, it really beat my imagination because i perceived him a a, a a good man of god slash a muslim man according to him and he's actually a very humble person that one can easily relate with him but i'm really surprised to beginning to see the recall in him and this has become like a normal thing for most people we hold in high esteem people we respect in grand community people who we feel that these ones are good pastors and all that and you see something that is very clear very glaring for all to see and you keep supporting it even without shame in public space. Just like um, a, a Musa had said, Ostos Dawood has made it very clear, categorically, that this man's name was never in any documents. As a matter of fact, there was no documents. And everybody, it has become public knowledge and um, um, it has become, everybody has known clearly what is really happening in UH, that UH is non-existent, UH is a mirage. Yet you still see some food soldiers coming out shamelessly to you know support Wakama to support UAG, even though everything is out there on, in public space. So what I think is I feel these people actually have some cockroaches in the cupboard which they will continually make effort to protect so that their their, their bomb bomb will not be leaked out in public space. That's why I think, or probably they have some form of oaths. With Ken Wakama to continually support him, regardless of the fact that it is not necessary. So I'm so disappointed in him. I wanted to call him, but at this point in time, like I said, I'm not anything grand community. I'm just in my you know, observing from a distance. If not, I should have called him based on old times, based on the fact that we were once cool. I really know what his problem is, but right now I feel it's not necessary. So I'm so disappointed in him. Thank you. All right, that was African Mr. Joe, the legendary one. He just uh, nailed everything right now. Uh, the Reverend, uh, Reverend uh, Legendary Wagachuku. Uh, can you hear me, sir? Thank God yes, you're back yes, again. Like Thank God you're back again. This uh, enemy is, uh, you know, messing up uh, this our uh, platform. I will need to do a lot of cleansing. Uh, what do you have to say based on uh, what you said the other time so that we can document it uh, when it comes to you know, uh, you stopping the disbursement with your petition, sir. Okay, I am a Michael. You know, I've said it before, but I will start from what I had a uh, legendary uh, Musa said. You see, uh, sometimes if you want to provoke somebody, just say the truth. If you say the truth, your enemy will begin to dig out your own to, to find fault. You see? So I believe that Mr. Dawood has not done anything bad. To the masses, my just any anything uh, to me, but that one belongs to me and him, not for the masses. Although he said it openly, he still he will still apologize to me personally because the same thing you they are saying to him was what he said to me. You see, but now you, as you can see, the petition was said that it was written uh, with me. Uh, you see now they are just removing me from his own and now saying that me and the uh, some ngos wrote petition so those things are lie you asked me about um about uh what uh comrade uh, 
Joe said, I told you that uh, you should give me his number, but I've answered that thing before. No human being, both animal, that are in this young community that have written a petition before against till now. Nothing. Things are just mere allegation because they don't see. They did not, Jesus said they did not see anything against me. Had they been, they see something against me, they, have, they would have hold that one strongly. But because they did not see anything against me, that is why they now formulated that I wrote a petition. The best thing is if someone wrote a petition, just bring out the petition, publish it on social media. Let everybody see it. Such thing is not, something like petition is not what, see, if you write a petition against somebody, you must show it to that person. You must show it to that person. You see? So, they will need to bring out the petition and publish. There is nothing like that. Nothing like that. No petition at all. And I've said it. As many that are saying those things that I didn't do, they will never go unpunished. Those that believe in them will never go unpunished too. Again, I've said it. Everybody should understand. Now, this money, e Musa has said it. Honorable e Musa, my friend, has said it also. This money is not UAG money. This is the money that these boys, sorry for calling them boys, but because they are young, vibrant, to achieve something that do, it has not been delivered, but they achieved something which everybody is believing now. So because they did that, I'm calling them boys. So this is the thing God gave them the grace to fulfill and get. It is not UAG at all nobody should say it's uag so everybody should be ready to expect uag on because we spend a lot there we spent a lot there the same thing to Tio, the same thing to supreme the same thing to others and that press conference will bring everybody to book those grand handlers we bring them to book you see when uh, Honorable Musa was saying he said how can somebody i've said it before because of that uh, t television uh, this thing interview uh apostle ken uh, granted was why I came and said, why do you make such mistake? Say you did not collect money from anybody. Why? You would have said you didn't collect money for registration, which he never come openly to say, please begin to register with money. He didn't say it. So anywhere you go, anywhere you go, he will stand on that. But say that he didn't collect money from people. Why? We know. He collected 10,000 for up, collected 35,000. After pay tax, people still pay that money in his uh, own account. Yeah? And the hundred hundred thousand, he said, I've flown. Let me see. Eh? I don't know this type of this type of wickedness. I don't like it. You turn it in and twisted the people. Say who you can you can forfeit that thing. Oh yeah, everybody because of fear. They thought that their Messiah is there. They started forfeiting the, the money. I'm not talking about it much, but you don't suppose to say such thing. Eh? You see, you don't suppose. What about the money I gave to you? Does it mean I didn't give you money? And you have never refuted it. You still come and say you didn't collect money from people. Eh? It's too bad. It's too bad. That is that is that is too bad. Again, those that said if they see monkey hand, you people, people are saying so you never see the monkey hand. No, 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 no. You people should not misquote him. He said if he see monkey hand, now nah, not the only monkey hand, now nah, the whole monkey day inside soup. And he didn't say if he see the whole monkey inside soup. He said only hand. But this one don't pass hand now. So you should not blame him. You see? <laughs> oh, yeah, you don't pass hand. You see, it's all you know, the body of monkey now is inside the soup. So he, he, he is speechless. He cannot say anything because he only said hand, monkey hand. Both leg, everything is in the soup. You see? So by the grace of God, God will help us in this country. God will help us and we will succeed. All these liars, all these liars. I don't know. Kai, oh God. Hi. Oh God. The thing is pissing me off. Everybody calling call him pastors, pastor, pastor, pastor. Well, let me just tell Grand Community. This thing is not about pastor. It's all about individual, not about religion. Individual. Individual. So everybody should be avoiding such thing, you know, by calling calling uh, 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 pastors, pastors, no, it's just a matter of individual, individual. So please, God will still see us through that. There, there are good ones till tomorrow. There are good ones, please. There are good ones. I thank you. Let me just hold it like this. Uh, if God permits, if there is any other one, we can still proceed. And you know, Michael, let me tell you, check this platform to know if truly it's still good, whether they have hacked it. Check it well. Thank you. God bless you. <laughs> all right, sir. All right, all right. Thank you very much.
that was uh, the legendary one. I know a lot of people don't uh, not satisfied with him. He has done his best. To, he came out to say the truth that he was used, uh, you know, for the international community money. And uh, a lot of people still felt, uh, some people still felt that they are not satisfied with that, but he just said the truth anyways. All right, this is still the chat show. Today is Good Friday. He stays around the corner. This is me, myself, when I electrifying him, one that hits men, I am on Michael. I'll be checking up this platform soon after the show. It's like something is fishing. Anyway, we got the ambassador, ambassador from the UN, Ayer. I'm sorry, sir. We just have to call up back on you, yo. Because of uh, what we're experiencing here, for you to come and clear the air when it comes to Tuli, sir. Can you hear me, sir? Ambassador Ayo. Hello, my brother. Good evening. Okay. Uh, I want to put uh, Reverend, uh, the legendary Raga Chuko on the hot seat back so that he will, you know, tell you the questions he asked you way back. Uh, Reverend, sir. Can you hit him with the question, sir? Oh, okay. You see, what I just uh, want to say in respect to that is that, you know, this, uh, like I explained to him, that uh, this, the face of this is quite different from that of Grant. It has to do much about project. But when he was talking about the allocation of uh, funds, the amount to go to each beneficiary per NGO, per cooperative, or per state, per local government, you know, I made it clear that... Uh, do there is plan for that, but that might not, uh, you know, have been uh, completed, which I know that, uh, you know, by God's grace, like I've stated uh, between the uh, May, June, uh, June, July, when this whole project will kick off, by then, you see, the whole blueprint will be out. Every NGO or cooperatives that has, uh, you know, been part of this uh, project, we know what is coming to them. Then, We'll be able to okay maybe they will tell them okay uh, from your place we have a uh, so 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 number of widows and so so number of uh, retirees okay F maybe for now we are empowering or we are giving so so number of widows uh, uh each housing unit we are giving so so number of widow this amount you know and also in your cooperative we want to empower uh maybe uh 50 artisans that has to comprise of uh, five uh, tailor five uh, bricklayer, five uh, hairdressers, five, whichever way I know by then. Even personally, we are still going to call you, you know, and other uh, 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 loyal and uh, transparent uh, people like you that we know in this grand space that we're going to call together, you know, to still give you more details about this whole project so that you can have more knowledge about it. And then I know we're going to launch up uh, then and then. Uh, probably bring in the presence of other uh, media, whatever, into it. So everybody will not be able to be sensitized on uh, what we are having at the time. But as it, as it is now, the project is still, uh, the process is ongoing, which we are, you know, rounding up to commence the, you know, the physical development in terms of all these uh, uh, projects now, which will be coming up very soon, like I've said, by that June, July, by uh, God's grace. So if you can, if we, we Nigerians can just exercise this little more patience, and give us to then, even by God's grace, God's willing, even before then, you begin to see, you know, the the effect of all this, which I can give you the assurance, like I'm promising Nigerians that God will not disappoint us. Though it is too real to believe, because when we are having a project that is involving housing units, we are still talking about just grants, and then uh, people just to empower people with certain uh, fund that is available is difficult, and we don't even know who to trust. But I can give you that word that by God's grace, this ambassador thank you for people thank god for people who has also spoken you know before me uh, no matter how we will still have the good uh, the good eggs amongst the bad ones but we pray that god will touch everyone's heart and at least be able to do things right at least for once in this country so please just uh, give us a little time and uh, by god's grace we're going to deliver that was uh, the ambassador uh, are you yeah. from the UN, United States? Okay, uh, Reverend Wagachuku is back. Yeah, I am a Michael. You see, all this stuff, very sorry, oh, see, I'm not spoiling someone's business. But uh, whosoever in this damn community that will not understand what has happened and uh, be careful, i sorry for that person. But I don't know about this project, I don't know. But what I'm saying is, 
based on what he's answering i don't know if he's the ceo or the spokesperson but it seems he's the spokesperson based on all these things that he's saying it means they are not ready before somebody will carry out a project he will know how many people in that project that is how many ngos let's leave about individual the ngos he must have in mind what he or he the organization has for each ngo all this thing must be spelled out not uh, if it is house housing you have known that this ngo you want them to build three houses or four houses or one you have known so if you tell me that you don't know all this thing that later very soon as it goes you will be on it will be unfair. You know, uh, let me you it's have, showing you have, let me let me conclude. It's showing on seriousness. Before you conclude, before you start, you see, before you start anything again in this country based on this, you must know where you are coming from and where you are going. There is nothing like as we continue, we will now know. No, that has been the pattern they have been using uh, uh to us for a very long time. So please, Ambassador, what you will do now is to go back to the drawing board plan it well, know how many NGO you want to empower from each state and know how much or the, 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 uh, the amount you want to map out for each in every state. It's very, very important. Then after doing this, when you come out and you will know the specific time or time that thing will last when you deliver. It's yeah, important. Maybe you, didn't get it. maybe you didn't get the point, sir. That is exactly what we have said earlier. But the purpose of coming out tonight is just to, you know, is to debunk and to let people know that what we have is real it's just it's not that maybe we are coming out tonight to tell people that look we have this no we are only on this platform tonight that's why like, you know, don't be angry don't be angry let me tell you that you came just to debunk that what you are doing is real that is what i'm telling you the preparation is not real based on this thing you are saying now the preparation does not look like real and that is the a problem that people is having are they been now that you come you now say please this thing is for this amount we have gotten it this uh, NGO number of NGO we have gotten it and this is the amount that the NGO each NGO will benefit this is the this is the this is this and it will be very clear to people not you and the bank and the the you the reason we said, that's why we said no. the process this whole thing is no 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 the, let me tell you we have suffered so much on process you needed to put all this thing in, in place be sure of it before you come out on social media to say that is what i'm just saying i'm not against you but i'm telling you why people will be telling you is fake because it is following the same method others follow that is what i want to tell you please i'm not against you but i'm speaking my own mind thank you and god bless you it's okay sir no no problem sir thank you sir all right all right i think uh the the man uh, the ambassador let me clear it he just came to replace the uh, normally we are supposed to have the ceo the president of the two he here but well, he apologized for not having the time to come so we'll schedule another full meeting for him because he's the best person to give all these answers not the ambassador although uh the ambassador i just came in from Tuli to just replace uh, the the ceo and the president of two he so maybe he will not have all the deals or the facts. But I don't know. I don't know, Ambassador. Am I speaking? You know, am I saying the right thing? Or you don't have all you're the facts? You're very worried. Thank you for that. Uh, all right. Okay. So he, he just came. He's not even prepared for this to be on the hot seat. I just told him he has to be on the hot seat. So I think we need to wait for next week when uh, maybe when the president of the two, he will come to the hot seat. So we heat him up with this question. I think, I believe he has all the answers for this stuff anyways uh, sir ambassador uh i think you you're giving people the assurance that the to he is real and uh, i saw uh, a petition they wrote against uh, you guys from uh Uyo, that is from a bomb state is it a bomb or somewhere but i saw a petition what do you have to say about that petition i think i saw the write up on uh, the platform please come again i saw a petition they wrote against to he in uh is it Uyo, uh, Kwaibon State, uh, something like that, one of the eastern states. What do you have to say about the petition? Okay, you saw it. I saw it. Okay, you don't know about it. You know, You're not you, know what, it. you know, you know what? You know what? In the I think in the recent time when uh, people were looking at uh, doubting the authenticity of this uh, project, I think one some of them, you know they came together as a body with the road not even one petition a lot of petitions and i think in the course of that most of them were able to get the fact that he, he indeed has uh, you know 
has come to stay and they have been working on uh, several projects which you know will be coming like if it were to be money to you know to be disbursed i think by now well everybody would be, you know will have gotten uh, one information or the other but because it's more of projects you know there will be a lot of uh, you know a lot of underground work it's just like somebody who is going to build as and has to go for planning has to go for getting of purchasing of lands and some other things before you come to you know engineering and uh, location or whatever so that is just uh, I think whatever people are coming up with now is as a result of uh, probably they are doubting you know the project whether it is real or not but that is uh, what i've come to say tonight and to tell people in this grand ecosystem we are all into it together we know how much we have so how, how, how long we have suffered how much we have invested and we have gotten nothing in return and what you are doing tonight is also as to save us from going falling into more dish you know so that then uh, we don't get ourselves you know into more more of this uh, kind of uh, whatever and see how to eradicate such but i'm telling you like i've said this is a different uh, you know uh, project from the grant uh, whatever and i can assure you that uh, like i've said you know and i'm still repeating it that in no time all this will become visible so people will get to see more of what we are saying and why we are saying it is more of projects than uh, grants to be disbursed all right straight up no eyes from the ambassador himself uh, i want to know is there any question for them uh, for the ambassador uh, i'm sorry the dr princess do you have anything to say to the ambassador good evening good evening, good evening house good yeah, evening. Good evening, yeah um my word stands um straight this night let me come out to express myself and to throw a technical question to the ambassador on seat now you spoke that um to he is into is into what sir? can you come again is yeah, it so I, housing more projects uh unlike uh, you know where you have to come with and uh, said we have this number of grants and this amongst a uh, uh, number of uh, ngos number of beneficiaries you know is a project that is in phases you know do there is empowerment but the empowerment is not like the one we are expecting in in, in, in the grant ecosystem. This is just okay. a, a literally two years for okay. just to support you. Ben, okay, let me say this, sir. Let me say this. Um, to me, is into according to you is into um housing. And then um, projects yeah. from from housing projects from the investigation we got, which is from your head office in Uyo, we are made to understand that empowerment of widows, like you claim, coming up to tell us that uh, the people should um, pay money for tractor, pay money for 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 marua they call it marua i don't know what name then pay money for is it a um, scholarship and all that is not part of the project so and uh, you made all the ngos to start going up and down opening it letting a uh, an office i mean a um, hall and then you were promising them all manner and at the end of it we say they still pay money for processing fee i hope you are aware of that i hope i hope you are clear about that am i on course ambassador on seat please i want um, to respond to that i'm trying to pick most of your so do I... that is what he has been doing all over the 36 states and then um, we got to understand that like you claim it has been on since 2012. they talk about um 
uh, Hajj, which nobody has gone to Hajj since 2012. And uh, they talk about Jerusalem. Nobody has gone for Jerusalem, go to Jerusalem since 2012. So another one is coming again. This one that is coming is going to prove what he is doing. He's going to prove it. And then um, I am a Michael. I will want to plead that the director in charge in Uyo should be invited into this meeting so that we can it, it will put more light on some of these things because the petition we saw is showing that every other claim that you added to the agency or whatever housing whatever is not part of their project so how do we go from here how do we go about it after widows have robbed themselves on the floor uh, a, a lot of ngos risk, risk their self going around they paid for registration fee of two hundred thousand. They paid two hundred thousand for registration before you accept them. And the worst of it is that when you get to any 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 of the program place, you the way the artisans will display goods. This same to you. We now we now loot. Let me call it. Let me use that language. Loot. I call it loot. Some of them they rush to borrow money to make, to make presentation just for because they feel the Messiah has come. They display their goods. Then the entourage of uh, to we will now to take a, a, I will I will want I will want this uh, this chat to be recorded. Let the world know. It's recorded. It's recorded. It was recorded. Uh, 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 so the, 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 the to ye now we now take the sack to pack all what they presented, thinking that maybe in the next uh, three weeks, in the next two weeks, the, the the people will they they will respond to them. Look at it since 2012. This has this has been going on, going on, and going on. Nobody is talking. Everybody is silent. And. The NGOs and the cooperative that took these people out are the ones that they are dragging. Imagine telling them if you want to process a tractor, they have to process it with 100,000. If you want to process a, a, a mar maruba or those... You want to process that of a... Is it some of these things? Hundred thousand to process. The people will start gathering, gathering money through their NGO to submit money to you. So all those things we have to open up to it. And the worst of it again is that anytime the 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 NGOs or cooperative want to take you to a place, they are the one that we book for hotels. You stay in the hotel for three, two or three days in the hotel. With the 15 angel entourage, is the NGO or the uh, uh, and the cooperative that will be in charge of the feeding and all that. So come to spend all this money, and they will be telling stories till now. So this is a good avenue. If you are talking about June, we want to know if June will be June, but before that June. I will want an a clear investigation to Uyo. Let's invite the Tui Capital General to this hot seat. While uh, Alaji Agidi to will be in the hot seat, let there be a clear understanding. Let the two of them face themselves. So I will want it that way. Why some other NGO and should be in the chat show in the next um, meeting? Then from there we will know where we are going. So if they are going to refund the money back to the NGOs, even up to the cloth that that was sewn to his neck, to all the entourage and himself and the and the 
and the expenditures then let every ngos and the cooperative let them begin to make their their accounts now they should start making the accounts now let's present it and take it up from there so that is just what i will say because as it is now uh me personally i hate deception and the coordinators that are involved all the coordinators around the country everybody is angry and they are pointing fingers they cannot walk in the street pointing fingers at them what even baffled me is all the kings the kings and the 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 oh the kings and the um, uh widows in different states that was dragged in the mud and they are holding all their coordinators uh, uh, responsible there's no there's no it's not possible for them to go for to, to organize a meeting like that without contribution they contributed to to, to, make, to make the 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 the, the, the meeting uh, colorful then and at the end of it they looted their materials and go away so uh, i am a michael i think um and the legendary in the house uh, they have to look at look into this so that the ngos and the coordinators will know their their stand so that is just it thank you very much thank you so much all right madam, madam. So, yeah. what you. do you have to say uh, ambassador okay yeah thank you so much man thank you for your concern you see like uh, uh what i said earlier Ma, you have really spoken the, and you have spoken the well, you have spoken the mind of the people. But you see, it's just that, uh, you know, when I was talking, if I should be going into details, into all this, I might take uh, more time because there are more to it. Though when people will give the picture, they might not give it exact the way it is. But notwithstanding, it is because of the time frame. Like you said, uh, maybe they'll be refunded or they'll be given. No. They are, they are, they have not been deprived. Everybody, every NGO, every coordinator will get, you know, what is due to them, what they have been promised. They will definitely get it, and that is why we are giving that time frame because we know the little process left at least, just because of the new government that just came in, and we know in no time that one, uh, you know, will be cleared. But yet, um, I will still, like I told uh, uh, Mr. Michael, uh, it's not everything we we'll discuss, uh, you know here on the platform but i know when you will come to the office and eh, you'll be able to see a lot of things and you will be able to share life to so many of these things the most of these people that were giving these figures when some of them just collected this money from their beneficiaries it's not that they gave to uh, uh, to baba uh, to the uh, to the remitted it to baba but for those that were given for, directly from baba baba will never deny any of them and they are all under processing like you talked about the the jerusalem the hajj they were not they were it wasn't that maybe he collected money from them he gave them it was a free it was, it was a compensation that okay he gave you this slot this hajj slot he gave you jerusalem he gave you this uh, a scholarship not that maybe he gave them and he was collecting money from them no so that's why i said with time when we meet we'll be able to uh, show show a lot of documents and explain more about this so that you know that though he has promised he's going to fulfill but not that he, he collected or he deprived. He... Hello. Hello. Yes, Hello. Yeah, we can hear you, sir. Go on. Yeah, Please, go I, on. Have a, I have a question for this ambassador. All right. Uh, the question Madam is asking or she asks is emphasizing on the collection of money. If you say you are going to empower a widow and you are collecting... Hello, okay. Legendary AA, hey, hey, we didn't get that question properly. With what is happening, that people don't fulfill the... Pro It's like he's having a network problem. Ambassador. Are you ambassador, talking about fulfilling, talking about fulfilling the promise, sir? Hello? No, he said, did you collect monies from widows? Not at all. Not at all. Nothing like that. 
There's nothing like that. What? Hello. Please, please can I come? Yeah, we, can, we can hear you, sir. That's my question, please. Let him. Hello, me. please. Can I come in? Mm -hmm. Come in, sir. Abu, Mr. Abu, right? All right. Yeah. Hello? Thank you very much. I was part of the Hello? program too. Hello. Can you hear hey, me? Hey, hey, Mr. Hold on first. Hello, Mr. Michael. Come, sir. Let uh, Mr. Abu finish. Hey. hey. All right. Hello, Mr. Michael. See, I was part of the program too. Hello, please. Can I? Yeah, please? yeah. I said, uh, hey, Musa, hold on first. Let uh, Mr. Abu come in. All right. Thank you, sir. See, I was part of the program. I was involved at some stages too. My myself. This man in question, fine. He came around. He promised some people some things. The NGOs or uh, the cooperative leaders are the ones that gather people, the beneficiaries. All the widows that they were promised uh, some benefits. He did not collect one couple from any of them. I don't know if the uh, cooperative leaders did collect money from their beneficiaries. That is what we don't know. But the man, I'm sure, did not collect one couple from all, any widow. Even all the houses he promised them, they are going to be fulfilled. It's just a matter of time. And he did not collect one naira from all the widows, the retirees, and anybody. If there is a particular person for all the beneficiaries that they gather at the particular uh, event that the man came for, let them come out. Let them come out and talk that, okay, we go to this man office, oh, I'm a widow, or oh, I'm a retiree, oh, all this one, oh, I, I pay this amount of money to him. Let the person come out. Let them bring them out. All right, sir. Thank you very much. Uh, I can see uh, Mr. O Ola Wari. Ola Kposu. You want to speak, sir? You can speak. Mr. Ola Kposu. I'm sorry I'm not pronouncing the name correctly. Hello, sir. You can speak now. Mr. Lakbosu. I'm speaking. Are you hearing me? Hello? Sir, go on. Are you are you are you hearing me? Yeah, go on, Hello. sir. Okay. We can hear you. you. That's very good. I just want to contribute a little. I thank God to be here this evening to put a light.